Hi everyone, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and in this video we're going to show you the setup for the Orion Sirius mount. Uh, we'll show uh, what it looks like at the, you know, in the box when it arrives at your house, the individual pieces, and then how they all go together. Uh, I think you'll find that it's actually pretty easy. There's, there's really not too many parts that go together to assemble this thing, and you don't really need any tools. So, well, let's, let's get started. Okay, so these are all the parts out of the box. Uh, just make sure you've got them all and you're ready to start the assembly. We've got the tripod in the back, the head of the series mount itself. That's the tripod accessory tray, along with the small bracket for the hand controller. Uh, the hand controller is in front, along with the power cable and the serial cable to connect it to a computer if you're going to use a separate planetarium program. You've got the counterweight, an 11-pound counterweight, and a... Uh, an 8-inch Vixen-style dovetail bar, along with the manual itself. The first step is to take the tripod legs and bring them up, spread them out, and have it up in front of you here, nice and solid. And then take the head, locate the cutout in the, uh, the base, that's where the little north stud goes. Gently drop it on top. Uh, make sure before you drop it on top that these screws are relatively loose because the stud goes in between them. You don't want them to be tight and then this to hit the screws themselves. So drop it on top and then screw it up from below, making sure it catches into the head's threaded hole. And hand tight is all you need right there. Next, the center support tray goes onto the shaft down below. So unscrew the knob and take it and the washers off. Put the tripod tray up through the shaft, put the washer back on, and thread the knob back on. Again, hand tight is all you need. And you might want to verify that the tripod legs are all the way fully extended. So just lift it up and pull on two of them and bring them to their widest point. And then again, go underneath and tighten it up, just hand tight. The next step is to lower the counterweight shaft, which is this knob here on the side. Counterweight shaft comes down, lock it back down. Uh, take the toe saver off. We call this a toe saver for a very good reason. You wanna have this on anytime the counterweight is attached. Loosen up the set screw, it slides on. If somebody accidentally loosens that and you don't have the toe saver on, you're going to smash your toe with the counterweight. So thread that back on and you're done with that assembly. The holder for the hand controller slides on to the little indent on the tripod accessory tray. It slides on and clips into place right there. You can slide the hand controller into the holder and then it clips on to the jack labeled hand controller on the base. And then last, the power cable, your 12 volt cigarette lighter plug, uh, attaches into the power port, and then the cable strings out to your power supply. The mount comes with a Vixen style dovetail bar, so this attaches to your telescope, either directly to the rings or however else you're gonna be attaching your telescope. It then slides into the top of the base and clamps down with the two large thumb knobs. All right, well, there you have it. Now you're ready to start using your telescope.